Habari. Salam alaikum. Sak passe and welcome to another edition of Font on From. I'm your host, Sarah Unyango, and in this episode, we are going to be focusing on the Connecting the Dots project, one of the initiatives in Canada marking the UN Decade for Peoples of African Descent. So Connecting the Dots is a project whose mission is to educate citizens wanting to learn more about the African diaspora in Canada and to equip Canadians to learn about and apply best practices in combating anti-Black racism. And we are happy to have Eldon Holder and Natalie Damien. do an interview with you in particular because you seem to be like me and like Brittany if we're like gonna say on a particular scale of like introverted to extroverted that's funny <laughs> we're on the more introverted side yeah. compared to some you know members in the group so I wanted to get your perspective of like where you fit and is it different from other organizations or is it uh... hmm okay well I mean, I guess a few organizations or projects I've been part of were um, youth-led, and so is Connecting the Dots, but um, there are people who are more established than me, who have careers, who have been doing this kind of work for a long time, and I take it as a learning experience, and I'm really here to help and implement my ideas, but then I've also done work where I was the person who was running it, who was on the executive, oh, yeah? who was leading or leading the organization on the executive team, um, and that was very different. So I've gone, I guess, from direct leadership position to I'm here to learn from you yeah. and contribute. I feel as if I know a lot of theory, now I need to know how black people actually live. And that's very different. So going to these stops and hearing how black people um, experience the world and navigate the world, maybe not from as of a privileged and sheltered, sheltered position as mine, makes me realize and teaches me more than theory can almost. Um, and that's the point where I'm at right now. Is there, is there a moment that kind of jumps into your mind where you're like, this is why I started doing this? Moment. Um, Hmm. I think that moment would have been, so through my internship, I had the summer with a politician. I would go to Black Caucus meetings, and then at a Black Caucus meeting, um, June came in and other members, um, or other involved people in the Black community in Ottawa, and I, they delivered a great speech, and I saw after the meeting, no one up to talk to them. Um, so I was like, Okay, I'm gonna go talk to them, and I ended up going to an event with them, and then I met Natalie, and then I got involved in this whole network of um, almost black activists in Ottawa that I had no clue even existed, and I probably would not have known if I didn't actually say something to someone. And then at that event, when June was introducing me to people, and they're like, "Oh, this is a new person. I really want you to meet," and people were saying, "We really need your help. Um, let's get into contact." And I was like, whoa, like, maybe um, 
my opinion or maybe my effort I could give would be valued. Maybe it means something. Maybe I um, have found a community and a network that I can benefit and I can not only benefit but like they can teach me more. Um, so at that moment I felt very inspired and I continually feel inspired every time a new opportunity arises through um, what I do in the various I guess realms I operate in. Yeah. Um, each time it's like I'm more energized just to do more. But that was the initial point of wow I'm gonna start something and they're gonna teach me.